Painting a ceiling can be a really daunting task, but with the right tools and the correct techniques, you can paint like a pro. It's important to remember that it's not just about quality paint, but also quality brushes and quality rollers. But before we start, we need to prepare our brushes and our rollers. Here's a painter's tip. Before you start, you want to lubricate your brush to help it work properly. And all we do, if we're using water-based paint, we soak our brush in an inch of water for about 15 minutes. If you were using oil-based paint, you would soak it in terps. Now our brush is soaking, we need to clean the fluff off our roller. Simply run your hand up and down the roller a couple of times for a few minutes, shake out the excess water, and you're good to go. Before we roll our ceiling, we need to cut in around the perimeter of the ceiling using our quality brush. And the main thing to remember is you need to get that underneath lip of the cornice. And to do that, we start painting in two stages. The first brush load goes on to the bottom half of the cornice and the top part of the wall. Because it doesn't matter that you get paint on the wall because you're going to paint that later. And the second brush load, we do the top half of the cornice and then up onto the ceiling just wide enough out so that we can get close in with our roller. Okay, so what about the scenario where you're only going to paint ceilings? My suggestion would be to mask up across the top of the wall, get yourself a slightly smaller, thinner brush which will give you more precision and control. And all we simply do, put all the paint on in the bowl of the cornice and then use the quality filament of the brush to just go underneath and if you hit the masking tape it doesn't matter because you can peel that off later on. So now it's time to roll. I've loaded up my roller and I want you to pretend there's an imaginary line down the middle of the ceiling. And with your loaded roller, you start in the left hand corner of the ceiling and we roll a couple of roller loads in towards the centre of the ceiling, towards the imaginary line. So now we simply reload our roller and go to the other side. So now we repeat the process on the other side, making sure we overlap what we just did. You need to allow at least two hours in between coats, and you don't have to wash your rollers or brushes out. To keep them moist, simply wrap them up in plastic wrap, and the next time you'll be good to go. 